Well, I recently returned from Baja, California in Mexico, and I must say the trip was, um, it was fantastico. But just before the trip, I became a little bit obsessed with shooting instant film, specifically impossible project film in an old Polaroid camera. And that's thanks to a student of mine. Because you see, one of the perks of being a photography teacher is you get these awesome students who gift you awesome cameras. So thank you, Tim, for gifting me that beautiful Polaroid SX70. Really rekindled my love for instant film. So now that I'm back in town, I need to digitize these. Because after all, you know, if I can't post them on Instagram, what's the point? I'm going to be using an Epson V750 flatbed scanner. And you might think it's as simple as just taking a Polaroid and throwing it down on there and making your scan. But unfortunately, it's not that easy. And that's because you run into a big problem by the name of Newton rings. And Newton rings occur when two glossy surfaces come in contact with each other. So namely, the glossy surface of the Polaroid coming in contact with the glossy surface of the scanner glass. Newton rings are basically these kind of colorized swirls in your picture that happen when the two glossy surfaces kind of stick together. And so in order to make a proper scan, we can't have the two glossy surfaces touch. We need to elevate the print ever so slightly above the scanner glass. Um, but we don't want to go too high above the scanner glass, otherwise we'll lose focus on the scan. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a spent Polaroid cartridge uh, in order to make a little holder that holds our film just above the scanner glass. So I got this uh, spent cartridge here. And the first thing we need to do is break off the front of this cartridge so that we can get access and slide our print in. So the way you do it is you just give it a little tweak and twist on the front here until you hear the cracking, which is the sides of this front door cracking loose. And then eventually you'll have this kind of little flap that hangs down. Go ahead and tear that off so that you have this nice big gaping opening in the front of your, uh, your cartridge. Inside the cartridge there is a little spring and a battery. And you can slide out the battery if you want. Really, you only need the spring but uh, I tend to just leave mine in there. And we're gonna take our print and slide it in to this uh, holder. So you reach in and you grab the little spring and pull it down so that you have a little gap here. And then you're gonna take your print, you're gonna slide it in ever so, ever, ever so carefully so that you don't scrape the print along the top plastic piece. And then you can let the spring go. And so now the print is held perfectly in this nice little holder. This is going to go face down on the scanner bed, and then you will be able to make a scan without getting those Newton rings. Once it's sitting on the glass, you don't want to simply close the top of the scanner, uh, because what that'll do is it's going to put pressure on the film holder, and it might cause it to tilt up like this, messing up the focus. So instead, you just want to put a white piece of paper behind it, or if you have an Epson V750, you can take the white backer that came with it and just rest that lightly on top of it. Now I'm using Silverfast AI Studio to run my, my Epson. Scanning it as a TIFF, 48-bit. The 48-bit gives me a little more flexibility in doing the tonal and color adjustments later on. And today I'm scanning it at 900 pixels per inch. That's going to make it so I can actually blow it up bigger than it is in real life. Um, I generally won't, but I can if I need to. Now of course, we don't get the white border on it. And let's be honest. If you're shooting Polaroids, half the point is the white border. So let's say you want to get the white border as well. Well, after you make your image scan, just pull the print back out and put that face down on the scanner so that we can scan the border. We're obviously not going to use the picture from that scan because it'll have the Newton rings on it, but we will take the border from that scan, put it into Photoshop, and drop the initial scan without Newton rings right on top of it. And then there you go, you got yourself a digitized version of your Polaroid print. Now, by the way, another sweet little bonus of using the, uh, the spent Polaroid cartridge is it makes a perfect little easel. So you can look at your picture while you're making your adjustments on your computer and you get this perfect match. So I think that's pretty cute. Now, to be honest, I don't know if this will work with other types of instant film. This is impossible project film, but I have not used Fuji instant film, so I don't know how the cartridges are set up. But hopefully it'll work on all types of instant film. You really just need a spent cartridge that you can break open and slide a print back in. So hopefully it'll work. But there you go. That's how you make a scan of a Polaroid print without getting Newton rings. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.